In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a simple one by one brick similar to those used in Lego. This way you can make bricks that are compatible with other building block sets you may have and attempt to 3D print them. The first thing we'll do is use user parameters. So if you click on modify, change parameters, here is a set of parameters that I have. Here I have the stud spacing, which is base times 10. What is base? If you look at all the building block and Lego community enthusiasts out there, you'll see that there's a base unit of 0.8 millimeters, and we can derive other dimensions of the blocks from these dimensions. So for example, the stud spacing or the stud pitch is base times 10. And then all of the blocks have tolerance of 0.1. And then the stud is base times six. That's the diameter of the stud on the top of the blocks. And then we have the wall, the stud height. This is the inner hole, which is like the small recess underneath the studs. And then this is the height for a full height brick. So we're gonna use these parameters uh, to make our model. So let's get started. The first thing to do is create a component. So I'll click new component and I'll call this one by one. Then I'm gonna create a sketch. And in this case, I'm going to create a sketch on the ground plane. And then I'm going to get a circle. And so the first circle will be inner hole. And that is 2.6 millimeters. Then I'm gonna get another circle and I'll call this one stud. And that's 4.8. Remember, we derived all these from the base unit. Now we need two center rectangles. So I'll get a rectangle, center rectangle. This first one will have the wall heights. So it's going to be stud space minus tolerance times two. Because we need to subtract the tolerance from each side so the bricks fit together when you're playing with them. Then this next dimension will be the same. So I can go like this and then I can just click on that dimension. Now we just need to have our offset dimension. So we can either draw another center rectangle or use the offset tool. I'll use the offset tool and I'll come in negative wall. And there we go. Now we have all the dimensions we need to extrude our block. So I'm gonna finish the sketch. And the first thing we'll do is extrude up height. So that gives us our height and will be a new body. Your sketch will have disappeared, so go to the browser and turn your sketch back on. Now, the, there's a number of ways we could do this next part. So what I'm going to do is extrude the stud next. So I'll click extrude and then I'll click the two center pieces. And then for the start, I'm going to choose an object and I'm gonna choose the top of this. And then the distance will be stud height. So then you'll see what that does is that starts the extrusion from there using the same sketch. So I'll say, okay. Now we need to extrude down from the top to have our inner, our inner pieces. So we can go ahead and do that. So we'll click E and we want all these inner pieces. And then we want to click our start will be an object and it could be this object. And then this distance, is negative one millimeter. It just happens to be one millimeter thick there. And so finally, we just need that little hole in the top. So we can press E and it's right here. And our start distance will be the bottom of the inside. So we can then hide our sketch just for a second. And our start will be this interior object. And then our height up will be stud height minus tolerance. So as you can see right here, that's gonna cut out a little bit of that stud and make everything work. And then we say, okay. So now we have all the pieces of our Lego block. And if you want to, you can add chamfers and fillets on these pieces. So we could go ahead and just select the whole thing and add a fillet, say 0.1. Now it'll just round everything off right there. And now we have a single one by one. Now we have a simple one by one block just like is used in Lego building sets. So hopefully you can use this to then make your own cool custom designs and 3D print them and put them to work. Happy building and happy 3D modeling.